I wanted to take just a moment this afternoon to point out some of the features of the Doble TR3190 transducer. Now, the TR3190 transducer is something that you would use with circuit breaker motion analyzers so uh, that you can time breakers and you can uh, verify some other parameters of the operation of a circuit breaker. But let's focus in on the transducer today. What's unique about the 3190, the TR3190 is that it can be used either as a linear transducer or a rotary, rotary transducer. But there are a few things that we kind of need to know about the configuration of it. Before we get too far into that, I just want to point out the rotary mechanism on the front of the transducer, as well as you see these wheels here can be used when we make this convert this into a linear transducer by putting a rod down through these. And we'll show you that in a moment. One of the other things I wanted to point out is that you see that there are holes throughout this face plate and they are for different purposes for mounting the chuck plate or uh, this hole in particular I wanted to point out there is a micro switch behind that and that kind of works with the uh, chuck plate so as to tell the equipment that we're using this as a rotary transducer or as a linear transducer and if you tell the software something and you configure the hardware differently it's going to come up with a message that says I'm not happy with you because these don't match up. So let's go on and point out some of the other components of this. First, there is the rotary chuck, and this will mount here, as you can see here. We'll show you that in a moment. And then there's also the chuck plate, and you can see that there are captured screws for mounting it. There is a parking space for the rotary uh, chuck. And there's also kind of a shield here for when we use it as a linear transducer, we'll cover that rotary mechanism there. So let's start out. Oh, one other thing I wanna point out is the rod that kind of works with these. Now this might be a little close up and I'll try not to, uh, to make it clear, but this is the rod that we might use in going down into this linear portion of the transducer. So let me put that back where it came from and point out how we would actually go about configuring the unit for a rotary transducer. So first of all, I do want to point out one other thing on this plate is that you see this grooved space here. That's so that you can actually use it along with this piece here to hold it while you put on the rotary unit. So first of all, let's put it in its place. You see this pin on the back of the unit? This is what goes into that hole with the micro switch and activates that micro switch. So let's go ahead and fasten these captured screws. When we do so, it activates the micro switch and it also makes it to where we have a clear way of mount mounting this rotary chuck. And so we'll go ahead and get that fastened on there. And now also as part of the um, the plate we have captured here on a little rubber piece the chuck key that you would use in fastening to the end of this unit to uh, whatever you are using for a rotary mechanism. So that's it. That is how you would mount it for a rotary transducer. And so now that we've completed that, let's say that we were gonna use it as a linear transducer instead of a rotary transducer. Well, let's go ahead and take these pieces off. Let's start out by taking this plate off. 
and we've done that. So now what we're going to do is use this piece on here to actually hold that as we loosen the chuck. Now we've got that off. Let's go ahead and take this and mount it as if we were going to use this in a linear fashion, as a linear transducer. So we fit our housing or shield over the rotary mechanism. And again, we're gonna find those holes where we can screw in those captured, those captured screws. Now that we've got that done, what do we do with that chuck? Well, hey, we stick it in our pocket and we walk away with it, right? No, let's not do that. We lose chucks that way and we have people that are still on the job after we've left. Anyway, so this here is just simply a parking space for the chuck. Let's go ahead and screw that on there. And now we have got that parked and we can insert the rod so as to be able to use it as a linear transducer. And so what you have to do is you have to slide this down through this linear mechanism and there is a fastening mechanism on, the, on a rotary fastening mechanism on the back and you can feel that as it tightens up and you can see that that rod just slides in and out of there and so you'll judge the linear movement of the circuit breaker through this transducer as it is like this. Anyway, that kind of shows how you would go about uh, mounting it both for a rotary uh, transducer or as a linear transducer. And remember that this plate, if you locate it properly, you have a pin in the back of it that activates this micro switch. One more time, just to let you know, if you tell the software something different than the way that you've actually configured the hardware, and it'll come up with a little message that says, these, these types don't match. So that's the TR3190 from Doble, either a linear or a rotary transducer. Thank you.